China's Yuhu Tiny Nuclear Battery SHOCKS, the entire tech industry. In the relentless pursuit of battery technology that lasts longer and fits smaller, the world has witnessed numerous contenders, from lithium-ion to graphene to solid-state innovations. But none have dazzled quite like the latest revelation from Beetle. This Chinese company has unveiled a nuclear battery capable of an astounding five decades of continuous power without recharging or replacement. Yes, you read that correctly, five decades. But how is this possible? What makes this nuclear battery different? And what implications does it hold for industries reliant on efficient power solutions like automobiles? Join us as we delve into how this tiny yet groundbreaking battery could redefine our world forever. Before we dive deeper, let's clarify what a nuclear battery actually is. Unlike conventional batteries powered by chemical reactions, nuclear batteries harness the energy released from the decay of radioactive elements. They go by many names, atomic batteries, radioisotopic generators, but they all achieve the same remarkable feat, generating electricity from nuclear decay. This fundamental difference grants nuclear batteries unparalleled longevity, ideal for applications demanding sustained power over extended periods. Moreover, nuclear batteries excel in harsh conditions, where traditional batteries falter, such as extreme temperatures, pressures, or radiation exposure. Their reliability makes them indispensable for missions like space exploration, deep-sea probes, and medical devices like pacemakers and sensors. However, nuclear batteries aren't without challenges. Their reliance on rare, costly materials such as plutonium or tritium drives up production costs, while safety concerns linger due to their radioactive components. There are various types of nuclear batteries, each employing different methods to convert nuclear energy into electrical power. Thermoelectric batteries, for instance, harness heat from nuclear decay to generate electricity, while non-thermoelectric variants utilize emitted particles' electric charge. Despite these nuances, all nuclear batteries share a common goal, delivering enduring power from a radioactive source. As we witness the dawn of this revolutionary technology, envision its potential to reshape not just how we power our devices, but our entire approach to energy sustainability. Stay tuned as we uncover the future powered by this diminutive yet monumental innovation. Now imagine having a battery that can last for half a century without needing to be recharged. That's what China's Betavolt New Energy Technology has developed with its new modular nuclear battery, which harnesses the power of a radioactive isotope and cutting-edge diamond semiconductor. Betavolt is a young and ambitious company that was founded in April 2021. It has a team of experts and professionals who are passionate about creating new energy technology. Its main products include atomic energy batteries and fourth-generation diamond semiconductors, which are materials that can conduct electricity very well. It also makes ultra-long carbon nanotubes and supercapacitors, which are devices that can store and release a lot of energy very fast. Betavolt's first-generation products are based on diamond semiconductor converters and Strachey diodes, which are components that can change the voltage and current of electricity. Betavolt's nuclear batteries use these components to convert the energy from radioactive decay into electricity. Betavolt's goal is to make nuclear batteries that can be used for space applications, defense, medical devices, and other fields that need a reliable and long-lasting power source. Nuclear batteries are not a new concept, but they have been mostly used for NYCHA applications such as powering spacecraft or deep-sea probes. They work by converting the heat generated by the radioactive decay of certain elements into electricity using devices like thermocouples or Stirling engines. However, in 2016, a novel approach was proposed which involved using thin layers of diamond embedded with radioactive isotopes such as carbon-14. The key is to choose an isotope that emits beta particles, which are basically fast-moving electrons or positrons. When these particles are released, they create an electric current by interacting with the diamond structure, which acts as a semiconductor. This is what Bitavolt has done. The Beijing-based company claims that it has achieved a world first in miniaturizing atomic energy by packing 603 nuclear isotopes into a module that is smaller than a coin. The isotope they use is nickel-63, which has a half-life of about 100 years and emits low-energy beta particles that are safe for humans and the environment. The battery works by transforming the energy of the beta particles into electricity using a fourth-generation diamond semiconductor that has high conversion efficiency and low resistance. 
Because of this, the battery can provide stable and continuous power output for up to 50 years without any maintenance or environmental impact. Betavolt chairman and CEO Jiang Wei said the first product the company will launch will be the BV100. The BV100 is a remarkable feat of engineering as it is very small, measuring only 15x15x5 15 15 cubic millimeters. It has a power output of 100 microwatts and a voltage of 3 volts, which may not sound impressive, but it is enough to power some low-energy devices such as medical implants, smart sensors, and micro-robots. The BV100 has many advantages over conventional batteries such as lithium-ion ones. It has an energy density that is more than 10 times higher, meaning that it can store more energy in a smaller space. It has a capacity of 3,300 megawatts per gram, which is equivalent to the power output of three nuclear reactors. This makes the BV100 one of the most powerful and compact energy sources in the world. It has no risk of fire or explosion, and it does not use any flammable or explosive materials. It can also withstand harsh conditions, such as extreme temperatures, varying loads, and radiation, and maintain stable and consistent performance. This makes the BV100 suitable for various applications that require high reliability and durability. The BV100 is also safe for human use as it does not emit any external radiation that could harm the body. The company claims that it can be used for medical devices that are implanted in the body, such as pacemakers and cochlear implants, and provide a reliable and long-lasting power source. The company says that the BV100 can improve the quality of life and health of millions of people who suffer from various diseases and disabilities. The BV100 is not only a single device, but also a modular one which means that it can be connected in parallel or series with other batteries to increase the power output or voltage. This opens up a wide range of applications for the BV100, such as wearable electronics, smart sensors, micro-robots, small drones, and even electric vehicles. The company says that the BV100 can enable new possibilities and innovations in various fields and industries such as healthcare, communication, security, and transportation. Bitavolt is not stopping at the BV100 as it has ambitious plans for the future. It aims to launch a 1 watt nuclear battery by 2025, which could revolutionize the fields of mobile communication and aviation. The company envisions a future where nuclear batteries could power smartphones and laptops indefinitely and turn drones from short-range flyers to long-range explorers. The company says that the 1 watt nuclear battery could be a game-changer in the era of 5G and beyond as it could provide unlimited and uninterrupted connectivity and mobility. The company also boasts that its achievement puts China at the leading edge of two high-tech domains, atomic energy batteries and fourth-generation diamond semiconductors. The company says that its technology is far ahead of the research and development of European and American institutions and enterprises, and that it is proud to showcase the innovation and competitiveness of China. Of course, trust the Chinese to make everything a competition with the West. Today, nuclear batteries are mostly used for space exploration because they can work in places where there is no sunlight or other sources of energy. For example, the Voyager probes, which were launched in 1977, have nuclear batteries that keep them going even after they left our solar system. The Voyager probes are the farthest human-made objects in space, and they are still sending us information about the mysteries of the universe. But Bitavolt is on a mission to change this and make sure that nuclear batteries could be used for more than just space missions. This is going to be hugely beneficial for China and the world, and it makes sense to think that EVs will greatly benefit from this technology in the future. Bitavolt also mentioned that their nuclear battery is in its pilot stage, which means that they are testing it and improving it. They plan to start mass producing it soon, and they hope to make it cheaper and more accessible. They also want to make more types of nuclear batteries using different radioactive elements that have different properties and advantages. They want to explore the possibilities and potential of nuclear energy in a small and convenient form. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.